Okay, I laughed a lot. Hold I on, love the are movie. we started? Yeah. Okay, I yeah, go ahead. Don't, movie. that's I, not how we normally start. That's fine now. Okay, that's fine. You laughed a lot, you love the movie. Maybe, we just uh, we just finished seeing uh, Identity Thief, uh, starring Jason Bateman and Melissa McCarthy. Uh, you just heard my mom's review of it. She loved it, she laughed a lot. Uh, I laughed occasionally. I, I enjoyed the film uh, a little bit. I mean, I, I have difficulty accepting it as plausible, plausibility thing, but I kind of just checked it and said, okay, I'm just gonna accept it and go on the ride. And I thought uh, Bateman and McCarthy had pretty good chemistry, although she is so thoroughly loathsome in the beginning of the film. I just despise her and want to see her die. <laughs> At least I, that was my experience for it. Um, but it, it, it had, it's had some funny situations, some pretty funny stuff, a lot of which was in the trailer, though. <laughs> um, uh, all in all, I... If, uh, actually, the, the supporting players were pretty funny. T.I. has a pretty funny bit in it. Uh, and uh, so does Eric Stone Street of Modern Family fame, although mostly in the trailer on that one. And so does uh, Robert Patrick playing a crazy bounty hunter in this. Re kind of amusing. But all in all, I, 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 I can't really give it a great review. I, I'd say at best it's a 60 for me. Oh. Yeah, I, I did not, I didn't love the movie. No. Wait, what grade would you give him on? Out of 100. Well, I was entertained the entire time and engaged the entire time. That's, that in uh, itself sure. says a lot for it. And so... Even though, yeah, she was despicable, but she gives, she's completely committed actress. Absolutely. And she's incredibly funny. And Melissa McCarthy is and, and I like And Jason Bateman was good. They were all really good. I enjoyed it. I, 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 give it, I would give it an 85 at least. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's a very positive review. What did you think? <laughs> Jesus, don't let me drop it. What did you think? Don't drop that thing. Okay. Um, look. It is what it is. It's a comedy. It's, uh, Definitely that. It's an R-rated comedy. So was it R-rated? I think it was PG-13. I think it was R-rated. Uh, it's a nice butt. You gotta, you gotta, <laughs> yeah. you gotta support R-rated comedy. So I'm glad I went and I saw it. Okay. Um, I thought it had some really funny moments, um, but I, I thought they were spread out pretty far. The, the. The touching, you know, like these things are like a amalgamation of a, something touching yet something comedic, and I thought it was, you know, overly buttoned up. You know, it's like too much love created. <laughs> a little predictable too. Yeah, a little predictable. So, and I thought, you know, Jason Bateman as a leading guy, and I just he works. He was I fine. don't think he works. Really? Me. Um, I thought she was. It was too much of her. Honestly, I thought she was good. Um, and so, but. You know, um, plausibility issues, but again, it's a comedy. Mm -hmm. I give it about a 60 as well, so I would wait for a cable. All right. Yep, I would agree. All right, bye-bye.